Hello compatriots, Axtlar here and today we're gonna read Tales of the TMNT number 38 Look at the turtles, and aren't they cute? Oh, They don't have their bandanas wrapped around their whole domed head anymore which is weird The younglings Younglings <laughs> Oh, we have a frontispiece here of uh, the future this is a grown-up turtle and a character we haven't yet met, but I I have, so I know who this is. <laughs> um, oh, they're playing chess. <laughs> I guess Nutello is the black ones because, well, because he pretty much beat the white ones. Uh, the white king is not yet in checkmate. He's in check by the knight. He's this one. I don't. You can't see the mouse, but. The one on the right. So the only way that the king could go is to the white space in front of the knight. And then I guess the queen is gonna end it all with a checkmate. Okay, let's uh, let's go. Oh, this is a yeah, tripe tack, which means I think it means something about three panels, like for art, three panels in a horizontal manner. Uh, at the same time, like three figures, like the Trinity. But what does it mean here? I oh, we have another um, flash forward. So this is gonna be a little complex, but uh, let's let's not pay much too much attention to these two panels right here. This one, this uh, page, and this one. But I'm still gonna read them. Okay. Here we go. A schema is a mental structure that we use to organize and simplify our understanding of the world around us. We develop schemas about ourselves, other individuals, mechanical devices, games, just about everything. Schemas affect what we notice, how we interpret things, how we make decisions, how we act. We remember and recall things via schemas, in effect using them to encode our memories, at least in theory. My name's Donatello, and yeah, these are the things that I like to talk about that think about is the way I am, is the way I've always been. Let me tell you a story. Trip talk. Pack up story. Ah, oh, rats! This is the next story in the timeline, so isn't that convenient? A story, everything tells me a story. Every image, every sound, each aroma and sensation, every single thing has history. All of history is memory, and memory, memory is all we have, Sensei. This training Bokken from our childhood contains some of my earliest memories. My father. Oh, flash forward. Spoilers, y'all. Flashback now. Okay, present time for ourselves. Here we go. My sons, there is but one final lesson to for today. A lesson that requires your utmost concentration for most your most focused balance. The lesson of the crane. The bird, not the construction machine. Very good, my sons. Very good indeed. Psst. Hey Leo. Huh? Raf? What what are you doing? <laughs> I saw that, Raphael. Master. Can we go out to sewer waters and play pirate? Please, master, please! <laughs> we won't go far, sensei. Just around the corner. Yes, but vigilant, my sons. All right! Avast, this Davy Jones locker. Leonardo, please see that your brothers do not get into any mischief. Yes, sensei. Now, if only we had some eye patches and pirate pads. <laughs> arr, arr. <laughs> For by the then turn back, my sons. Oh, me, me sons. <laughs> Abbas, me hearties, a message to curl the very blood. Tis the forbidden zone. A sign? We don't need no stinking sign. Seriously now, guys, this is as far as we go, and we really ought to keep it down. Hey, Mikey, the HMS Terrapin Terror, Scourge of the Seven Seas, is ready to set sail! 
Radio control works like a charm. Kawabunga! <laughs> Speaking of scourges, <laughs> make way for the Raphael Rock and Roll Show! <laughs> Gee, Raphael, I thought I told you to keep it down. Uh oh, the therapy terror is not responding. The waves caused by Raph's rock must have pushed it out of the range of the radio. Raph, wait! Yep, no response. Looks like we'll have to head off into the Forbidden Zone and get it back. Master Splinter isn't gonna like this. Then we don't tell him, duh! I understand and respect your needs, although I fail to see why this particular need cannot be met in the purified waters of our u drum immersion pool. Thank you for granting my wish, Dr. Axe. Please be careful, Leatherhead. As far as my explaining my desire to pass up the offer of your pristine waters for the fetid sewers of the city, well, I guess it's like that old human saying, which I heavily paraphrase here. You can take the gator out of the sewer, but you can't take the sewer out of the gator. <laughs> Don't worry, Doctor. I'll be right back after an invigorating swim. This feels great. Great. Look, the HMS Therapin Terror. Super. Let's see if it responds to the radio waves. I'll get it. Yep. Let's do some exploring. Are you crazy, Raphael? We shouldn't even be this far from home. Master Splinter, look! A crocodile! Hmm, I think it's an alligator. An American alligator. Alligator misses the pincies, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Big brain. Quiet! Wow, it's massive. Hey, don't gators eat turtles? Shh! I ain't afraid of no dumb old gator. <laughs> Punk. Raphael, what the shell is the matter with you? You're such a, um, a delinquent. Delinquent? Oh, that really hurts, Leo. <laughs> oh, we're whispering. <laughs> Raphael, I'm warning you, stop throwing stones. Stop threatening me, fart face, or I'll chuck that big rock at the gator. You better not throw that rock, or else. Wrong choice of words. I can't look. Or else, huh? Or else what? <laughs> Who dares attack me? Who dares attack Leatherhead? All I wanted was to be alone, to enjoy the solitude so I, that I so often crave. But no, such is not to be. Someone always interferes with the attainment of even the humblest of my desires. But no more. Not this time. This time, someone pays! <laughs> now you've done it, Raphael. Quick, everyone, follow me. Stick to the shadows. <laughs> I may not be able to see you, but I know you're out there somewhere. Whoa, hold up. Someone's coming. But the gator, he's... Hey, watch it, Don. Whoops! The mast! It's breaking off! <laughs> huh? Fool! You've given yourself away! <laughs> now I've got you! Huh? I will kill you all! Roar! Holy crap! The gator's gone nuts! This is your fault, Raph! We should go home pronto! Must kill you. Ah! 
curse! I stand triumph! I have killed you all! I... I have... No, it cannot be. What have I done? I let my rage consume me. I let my reptilian rage overwhelm my human intellect. And I, in my blind rage, I have hurt other sentient beings. Please calm yourself, Leatherhead. The important thing is that you have regained control of your senses, that you have emerged from the darkness. Dr. X, I should never have left the safety of the TCRI building. When will I learn that the outside world is not for one such as I? That may be true, my friend. Come, let us return home. But consider this. These aliens upon whom you vented your wrath. They are Sigmurethites. Old age enemies of the Utrams. Enemies who no doubt came to test the perimeter of our defenses. Only to encounter our greatest defense and greatest ally. You. You and your stupid rocks. You could have gotten us all killed, Raphael. The Gator never would have found us if it wasn't for them other jokers showing up, and you know it, Daddy's boy. Ahem. Master Splinter! <laughs> Consider yourselves grounded for going beyond our safe zone and breaking my trust in you. But Sensei, we only went out be there because Don's pirate boat. It, um, got captured by some sewer eels that then swam away with it and gave it to a shark. We went after it and... Raphael, that is most absurd. But Master... Hey, Leo, tell Master Splinter it's true. He'll believe you. Consider yourself grounded twice as long as your brother's for lying. Lying badly at that. My father... My brothers, my family, history, memory. For what else is left us? The end. And that's it, guys. Tune in next time for the next TMNT timeline issue or story. Thanks for the kind...